<clears throat> All right, so before we get started on 37 here, I just want to give you a little uh, update. I decided that I couldn't live without the slash, so I'm not going to use electronics out of it. I'm using the uh, an, uh, XP SCE450-BL uh, ESC that I got out of my uh, RC10 B4.1. Pretty sure that's uh, associated or Reedy, same thing basically. And then a uh, Reedy 3300 KV uh, brushless motor. And yeah, so that's where we're at now. Just give you a heads up. Anyway, step 37, we're doing the light buckets and the uh, bumpers here. We already got everything out here, so we'll start putting this stuff together. Start with the big light bucket, I guess. Just line up the uh, little tabs inside of there. And if you want to light cover over it just pop it on now I've lost a lot of these in the woods so I hope you're not too attached to them when you put them on <laughs> or just give them a touch of glue or something if you want to keep them on but that's the way they'll look I'll go ahead and make up all four of these the two big ones like this and then two small ones and then I'll be back with you alright so that's all four of them made up we got two of the uh, small ones and then two of the big ones and then just like the LEDs we did on the back of the truck, I don't have, I'm sorry, the light buckets, I don't have the LEDs for them, so I'm not going to put the little uh, LED holders on there yet because I'll end up losing them or breaking them or something. So we'll just leave them off until I get the lights. But we'll go ahead and start with this, the uh, bumper there, and then these have tabs in it. You can see the, the, the holes there, you can just, one for the screw and then one for the guide. Just put that in there, then we need the 435s, which are these, the M3 by 10, and just straight in. Same thing on the other side. Dead easy. So there's those two. Now on this bumper, the smaller buckets go on it. They go upside down. I believe, yeah. Now these use the 434s, which are the little smaller ones. Probably a different size. Nope, that'll do. All right. So there's that. Now we need the front of the truck. And then these will go mount through here. Four thirty sixes, hold those in. Double check the measurement there. All right, and this one goes in with the uh, eighteen millimeter ones. Starting to look like a rig.
All right, I don't know if anyone's noticed or not, but I've taken this cross member off across here because I have to hook the servo up to the uh, the uh, receiver. So with that crossbar on there, you can't get it out of there. So I took it off and then just put two screws in that to hold it for now because the next step is going to be mounting the cage onto the chassis. So once I do that, I'll have the servo close enough. I'll put it on, then I'll put the bracket back in the middle there. So let's bring it over. Now we gotta tie up the motor and figure out where we're gonna put the uh, power cable here. All right, so for now, until I make a, until I get longer leads, because I'm not, I'm not gonna use this uh, receiver that's in here for too long, just until I get another radio in that I've ordered. But um, and then it, yeah, the ESC as well. I'm just gonna be swapping that out eventually, probably for the Tekken. But anyway, uh, everything's hooked up in the receiver box, and then the battery I've just routed through back here, and I've just tucked this around, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're just around here, around the firewall, by the uh, passenger seat here, and it's, it'll plug in that way for now. Like I said, once I get it all, the stuff I'm gonna leave in it, the wires are gonna go underneath the floorboard, and then uh, they'll come up to the back somehow. But I'll sort that out once I get it. All right, so now I gotta hook up the motor. So now, putting the body on, making sure not to pinch anything. It's gonna take some squeezing. It's all right. Get one started and roll with it. The other seven or six in at that point won't be. All right. Now it's starting to get a truck. Six so more screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six. them up won't be right back all right next step shocks so we start off the front with the uh, 20 millimeter screw to so the shorter ones the longer ones go in the back and this uh, washer is bushing from uh, AX80034, that tree. Put that on here. Is that the right one in here? No. Sort that out. And then uh, I usually always start, just put it right in the middle, and if I want to adjust it later, I go from there. Seriously? struck me a bit odd if there was no washer or anything on this but all right it's a rubber bushing so that one and like I said a 25 millimeter ones go on the back
looking like a truck. Now the next step is uh, gluing the tires, but uh, like I said, I don't I don't want to glue tires, so I'm gonna use some other ones I had around with the uh, the axial bead locks, the uh, rock loser or the sorry the flat irons, with the uh, just the actual axial sorry stock AX10 bead locks that I had laying around. Like I said, I'm gonna upgrade that as well, but right now I don't have them yet. So we'll open bag G. This will be all of the pins and the uh, hubs. So we'll do these by hand, I think. So you gotta do one here. You never pick these stupid things up. So you take the pin, right in the axle. These. Grub screw, get it started. Line it up. Go on the axe a little bit, I always do. And then just tighten it down. And that's it. And then you can mount the tire on it. like so with the washer and the nut There you go, one done, moving on. All right, so there it is. We got the uh, tires all mounted up. Looking pretty sweet actually, I'm digging it. Now, obviously I still gotta put the panels on. You get the gist of it. It's about what it's going to look like. So, yeah, I'm getting excited, man. I can't wait to drive this thing. But I've got a. I'm waiting on one piece to come in from Axial, and then this thing will be complete. So, let me go ahead and get these panels on there, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so here it is completed. When like I said I'm just missing the uh, the other half of the axle, and I gotta wait and get it from axial. So as soon as that gets here, we'll take it out for the test ride. But uh, turned out pretty good. The uh, a lot of people were wondering probably who's in there. It's a uh, Scarecrow and Jonah Hex. Found them at the toy store, and uh, yeah. Can't wait to take this thing out and rip it up. But all right, so be looking for the videos. Thanks for watching.